Hey everyone, Boone here from premiumbeat.com. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can create some really cool custom color themes inside of the Adobe Creative Cloud suite of programs. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so let's get started. So I'm working on a video series about Vincent Van Gogh right now, and I need to create some motion graphic elements for this project. More specifically, I need to create an opening animation with a title, I need to create some lower third graphics, and a few other elements. Now, Van Gogh was known for using really bold colors, so naturally I want to incorporate colors in my graphics. So now let's go have a closer look at some of these colors. Okay, so I'm here at the Orsay Museum in Paris. If you're ever in Paris, I highly recommend this museum. It's right across the river from the Louvre. The lines aren't very long and it has a lot of charm. So I've come here to take a closer look at a few pieces from Van Gogh and to capture some colors from a few of these paintings. Now I'm going to capture these colors with the Adobe Capture app. This is a really cool app that has a lot of tools. Now all I need to do is point the camera phone at the painting, it will sample the colors, and then I can capture a photograph. So I can let the app automatically select the colors, or I can manually position some of these selectors to specify which colors I want to capture. Also, when you capture a photo, the color themes will automatically sync to your Creative Cloud account. Okay, so now that I've captured a few colors, I'm going to head back to my office and see what I've got. Okay, so I'm back now and I've captured a number of color themes inside of the Adobe Capture app here. But again, I, as I told you before, the beauty of this app is that it automatically syncs up with the Adobe Creative Cloud. And one of the places you can access these color themes is the Adobe Color website. The website has almost all the same features as the app. Here you can make significant customizations and changes to each theme. Let's say as an example that I want to create several additional themes for the self-portrait painting. First, I'll sign into my Adobe account on the Adobe Color website and then select My Themes. Next, I'll open up the self-portrait color theme. Now, I want to create several additional themes, so I'll select Edit Copy. Adobe Color gives me a detailed look at my color theme via a color wheel and a number of sliders for RGB, CMYK, as well as hex codes for each color. Now, for this particular painting, I want to create a few variations based on the orange color of the theme. So if you take a look at the original painting, you'll see that the majority of the painting is different shades of blue. Now if I want to put some graphics over the sides of this image, orange would be nice because it would contrast well against these colors. So to create a new theme, I'll set the orange color as my base color. Once this is set, I can now quickly create additional looks based on six different color harmony styles. These preset harmonies include analogous, monochromatic, triad, complementary, compound, and shades. Now I like the shades look, I'm gonna go with this one. So once I'm happy, I'll click on Save Color Theme. I can actually choose to save over the original theme or create a new one. I'm obviously going to create a new one. Now, as I said before, the app kind of has the same functionality that the website has. But one cool thing about the app is that you can reference the original image that you took and you can resample those colors. So at any time, you can go back, select that image, and manually move those color selectors to pick whatever you want. Now let's go have a look at how we can use these inside of several Adobe programs. Now I'll be using Photoshop and After Effects, so I have these two programs open. Both applications, you can find the Adobe Color Themes panel by going to Window, Extensions, Adobe Color Themes. Now, the layout of the panel is very similar to the website, and there's more functionality in the Photoshop version. As you can see, you can create new themes, explore themes, and edit your own just as you can on the website. But inside of Photoshop, you have a few additional features, such as the ability to immediately create a swatch, or set the active color from any of the colors. So now I'm ready to create some graphics and I have a number of all these colors to pull from. So as you can see, you don't have to use the Adobe Capture app to create your own custom color themes. You can use the Adobe Color website. They allow you to upload your own images to Adobe Color's website. You can also create the themes right there from inside of Photoshop or After Effects or Illustrator, whatever Adobe program you're using. So don't think that you have to do the same workflow that I did. I just wanted to show you this app because it's very, very cool and I highly recommend it because let's say you're out and about and you find a lot of colors that are inspiring and you wanna capture those colors, you can quickly capture them with the app, go home and then create themes based off of those colors. And not only can you capture colors with this app, you can also capture shapes and turn them into vectors. It's really versatile and I highly suggest you download it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.